Bubble Monster, you're looking really good today. I know. Why is that? said Crinkle Butt. Well, I just had some rainbow pie. Rainbow pie? What's that? Rainbow pie? You've never had rainbow pie before. No, said Crinkle Butt. Well, it's all gone now. I'm sorry I can't give you any. Bubble Monster, you're glowing. How are you glowing like that? It's the rainbow pie. But can't I get some from somewhere, said Crinkle Butt. I want to glow too. Hmm. Yeah, we can go to Rainbow... Where should we the note closest rainbow? I think we need to go to Rainbow Ridge. Rainbow Ridge? I've never been there before. Yeah, it's full of rainbows. They're everywhere. What do we do when we get there? I'll show you. So, they got in his minibus. They've never been in his minibus before. It was a giant pink bus. It had giant wings. It flew very fast and made a sound like this. The whole way. Can you imagine that sound the whole way? That would be pretty crazy, huh? Well, by the time they got there, Crinklebutt was twitching. <gasps> Bubble Monster, I don't want to take the minibus anymore. Me neither. It needs fixing. That sound's not right. That sound that was still ringing in her ears. <laughs> oh, goodness. As they walked round Rainbow Ridge, the rainbows were glowing everywhere. Well, good job I brought my rainbow bag, Bubble Monster said, as he unpacked it from his backpack. It's a beautiful bag. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at the embroidery on it, said Crinklebutt as she looked at it. It seemed to change as she looked. Yes, it's a magic bag. It collects rainbows. How does it do that? Just watch. Bubble Monster walked over to a rainbow. And do you know how rainbows move away from you? Well, as he walked towards the rainbow with his rainbow bag, it started to move towards him. Wow, said Crinklebutt. I want a bag like that. Well, you'll have to wrestle a Munga beast to get one, said Bubble Monster, giving her a wink. A Munga beast? Uh, that's for another, another story, a different day. Okay, said Crinklebutt. He started to stuff the rainbow into the rainbow bag. Okay, I think I've got enough rainbow now. Oi! said somebody from the top of a rock on Rainbow Ridge. What are you doing with my rainbow? I want my rainbow back, said the monster. Who are you? What, what are you doing here? I, I can take a rainbow. They'll come back. Look, it's starting to regrow. That's not the point. That was my rainbow, not yours, said the monster on top of the rock. I'm going to get you, as it started to throw rocks down at him. But wait a second. We, there's enough rainbows for everybody. You don't have to be all rainbow needy. Oi, don't talk to me like that, as he threw a pebble right at Bubble Monster. Bubble Monster ducked. Please stop it. You're going to hurt somebody, probably yourself. Shut up, as it picked up a bigger boulder and threw it as hard as he could. The force of the throw made him fall down the bridge. Ah! The monster kind of looked unusual. It was all purple, with three legs and two eyes, but most unusual nose you've ever seen. It spread across half its face. Its ears were long and steadily pointed at the end. What kind of a creature are you? Ah, get away from me, you rainbow thief! I'm sorry, but look, can you see the rainbows come back? Yes, I can. I know I've hurt my leg because of you said the monster. Look, I can help you out here, if you'll let me. I don't want help from you. Fair enough. What kind of help? said the monster. Well, you've hurt your leg, right? Yeah, I can't walk on it. I've only got two now. I need the other one for jumping. 
Okay, well, let me fix your leg. How are you going to do that? Watch this. Bulba Monster pulled the energy from 300 metres above his head, radiated it through his heart, and healed the monster's back leg very quickly. Oh my goodness, how did you do that? <laughs> the monster's heart started to swell. He started to feel the connection of the rainbows. He loved the rainbow colours, but he'd never actually connected with them before. Oh, this is beautiful. I like it now. Oh, as it sat down and started to go to sleep. I think you overdid it with the love bubble monster. That happens in Rainbow Ridge. It's what you get. The rainbows come out in full force. Oh, I kind of like it, said the monster, stirring from his sleep. Well, we need to get back home now. See you later. See ya. Oh, the monster as it lay down. They went back to Bubble Monster Castle and put all the ingredients into a big tub and stirred them all around. It took 24 minutes for the for the cake to rise. I mean the pie. <laughs> and so they tucked in to the rainbow pie. Oh, Bubble Monster, this is amazing! Crinklebutt started to glow and radiate love. Bubble Monster did too. The whole castle seemed to hum with this kind of beautiful energy. They loved it. They all had a wonderful time. And to finish the pie off, they had a slice of tea and a cup of cake. What a wonderful day said Bubble Monster. I agree, said Crinklebutt.